गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स चैप्टर मिड पॉइंट इज कंटिन्यू एंड दिस वीडियो क्लास लेट अस सी द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन स्टेट्स दैट ए डी इज अ मेडियन ऑफ साइड बी सी ऑफ ट्रेंगल ए बी सी एंड ई इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए डी बी इज ज्वाइंट एंड प्रोड्यूस्ड टू मीट ए सी एट एफ प्रूव दैट ए एफ इज टू ए सी इक्वल टू वन इज टू थ्री In this given question, ABC is the triangle, AD is the median, E is the midpoint of this median, and uh, we are asked to prove that AF is to AC equal to one is to three. I have written here given information: AD is the median, E is the midpoint of AD. To prove AF is to AC equal to one is to three, construction is required. In construction, I have done DG is drawn parallel to EF. DG is drawn such that EF is parallel to DG. These two lines are parallel. Here we should give symbol also. <coughs> EF is parallel to DG. Now we come in triangle ADG. In triangle ADG, E is the midpoint and EF is parallel to DG from construction. so f is also the midpoint of ag from converse of midpoint theorem i repeat e is the midpoint of ad and ef is parallel to dg therefore f is also the midpoint of ag from converse of midpoint theorem similarly d is the midpoint and dg is parallel to ef therefore g is the midpoint of cf From the converse of midpoint theorem. Similarly, I have mentioned here again and again. Right, not right. The reason from converse of midpoint theorem, but G became the midpoint of CF. While F was the midpoint of AG, that case we can write AF equal to FG. Here I have written AF equal to FG, and since G is the midpoint of CF, so we can write FG equal to FC. FG equal to no FG equal to GC. FG equal to GC. So from these two, what are we getting? AF equal to FG and FG equal to GC. Therefore, AF equal to FG equal to GC. Now AC equal to AF plus FG plus GC. AF plus FG plus GC. All these two, FG and GC, are equal to AF. So I have replaced it. AF plus AF plus AF. So AC equal to three AF. Now F by AC equal to one by three, so F is to AC equal to one is to three. Proved. Come to question number twenty. In triangle ABC, uh, ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equal to AC. B, E, and F are midpoints of BC, AB, and AC respectively. Prove that the line segment AB is perpendicular to EF and is bisected by it. Here, given informations are: in this triangle ABC, AB equal to AC. E and F are midpoints of AB and AC respectively. <coughs> to prove, Rama number one, AB is perpendicular to EF and OE equal to OF. If Uh, this uh, AB bisects AP, EF, then OE will be equal to OF. So these two are asked to prove. In construction, I have joined AB and EF. So I wrote here AB and EF are joined. For our number one, AB is perpendicular to E to EF. I have started from here. AB is perpendicular to BC. In a stress property, uh, line drawn from the Vertex to the opposite side is uh, perpendicular, and uh, this bisects also. AB is perpendicular to BC, and uh, AB bisects BC, so CB equal to BD. For that, AB is perpendicular to BC from axis of party. So ABC equal to ADB. This angle and this angle both will be ninety degree. EF is parallel to BC. This EF is parallel to BC because EF is the line joining two midpoints. 
so the line joining to mid points of two sides is parallel to the third side of the triangle. This is the midpoint. So I wrote EF is parallel to BC. Then angle AOE, this angle, angle AOE is equal to angle ABC is equal to 90 degree because these two are corresponding angles. When EF parallel to BC, then OF is also parallel to BC. Therefore, these two angle AOF and angle ABC became the corresponding angles. If angle ABC is 90 degree, then angle AOF will also be 90 degree. So, I wrote here <coughs> angle AOE equal to angle ABC equal to 90 degree uh, because corresponding angles, region is corresponding angles. Similarly, we can so angle AOE equal to angle ABD equal to 90 degree root. Roman number 1 is root. Now, for Roman number 2, OF is half of BC. Because EF is the line joining the midpoint, so OF, O is also midpoint and OF is also line joining the midpoint, so triangle ABC. So this OF is half of BC from midpoint theorem, I wrote OF equal to half of CD from midpoint theorem. Similarly, OA is also half of BD from midpoint theorem. I did not write that. So OE equal to OF because this is equal to half of CD, this is equal to half of BD and CD and BD both are equal, therefore OE, OE and OF both will be equal. OE equal to OF, reason BD equal to CD, OE. Number number 2 is also In question number 22, the statement is ABCD is a kite in which BC equal to CD, AB equal to AD. E, F and G are midpoints of C, D, B, C and A, B respectively. Prove that angle E, F, G equal to 90 degree and B is the line drawn through G is parallel to F, E bisects D, A. This A, B, C, D is a kite. E is the midpoint of C, D. F is the midpoint of B, C and G is the midpoint of A. <coughs> Given information in which BC equal to CD, this BC equal to CD and AB equal to AD, these two sides are equal. Now EFG are midpoints, E is the midpoints of CD, F is the midpoints of BC and G is the midpoints of AB. <coughs> to prove number A, angle EFG, this angle is 90 degree and the line drawn through G the line drawn through G is parallel to FE, is parallel to FE bisects DA. This line bisects DA means we have to prove AH equal to DH or H is the midpoint of A. Construction EF, GF, HG, HE all these are joint. Now in triangle BDC, in triangle BDC angle COB equal to 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree because the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular to each other because S is perpendicular to BD. So this angle is 90 degree and this GF is line joining the midpoints of these two sides. So in triangle ABC, GF is parallel to AC from midpoint theorem and these two angles became corresponding angles. If this is 90 degree, this uh, angle BPF, this one will also be 90 degree. So from this straight angle we can find OPF, this angle OPF will also be 90 degree. Okay. So this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, <coughs> See, uh, FPB 90 degree, OPF equal to 90 degree, straight angle. Now OQF equal to 90 degree. This is also 90 degree because this is perpendicular, OQ or AQ is perpendicular to EF, so this is 90 degree. So this is 90, this is 90, this is 90. So this angle equal to 360 minus 90 plus 90 plus 90. 360 minus 90 plus 90 plus 90 equal to 360 minus 270 equal to 90 degree. Number A is proved. Now number B. In triangle ABD, ABD, in triangle ABD, G is the midpoint of triangle uh, of side AB. G is the midpoint of side AB and GH is parallel to EF. While 
EF is parallel to BD, therefore GH will also be parallel to BD. For that I have written GH is parallel to FE is parallel to BD. So H is the midpoint of AD from midpoint theorem, <coughs> converse of midpoint theorem. H is the midpoint of AD from converse of midpoint theorem, therefore H bisects AD because question number B is also proved.